Good morning, day 32. Keep on super happy to be leaving today. Run there, friends and neighbors. Day 32 on the PCT. We're standing in the parking lot of the Green Valley Ranger Station with the Forest Service, and on the other side over there is the uh, U.S. Forest Service firefighters hanging out. Um, they had some uh, a water spigot here and an electrical outlet you can charge your uh, devices on. But now it's time to get back on trail. Mile mark 478, and we're gonna try to make it up to about 496 today. Got a much elevation right out of the chute. I think it's about a thousand feet, about a mile, which always uh, just sucks the wind out of your lungs. We're gonna get after it. So I will get you up to date on the trail once we see what it looks like this morning. It's about 45 degrees. Uh, but at least the overcast and the clouds and the fog seem to be gone. So maybe that'll cut down on the moisture level. All right, I'm gonna get up here to cut off and get back on trail. Back on trail, 478 mile marker. Somebody was nice enough to do that. And then we got a, I don't know what you want to call it, a trail ninja out here that keeps leaving these little clay statuettes everywhere. And our first stop's gonna be at that uh, Lake Hughes Road, eight miles. So here we go. And like I said, it's, gonna be pretty much all elevation right out of the chute again to try to uh, polish up my YouTube videoing skills if you like what you see hit that subscribe button give us a big thumbs up for the video and make some comments below I think boo is going to release the uh, highly secretive and highly awaited data about my weight loss in some of the comments this morning i know y'all are on the edge of your seat for that but uh it was actually a little bit surprising to me so maybe uh we'll go from there and see what happens over the next 30 days Well, when I started this morning down in the valley, I made the comment that it didn't look like we are going to have any of the clouds or fog or obscurations that we had yesterday. And uh, that was a bad assessment. As you can see, we're up to altitude now. And it's just rolling in from the west, I imagine the coast, and coming over the tops of these hills and drowning into the valleys on the other side. And the wind is blowing quite a bit harder today than it did yesterday so that moist air and the wind it's making it quite a bit chillier today than it was yesterday so they said about the weather report said about two o'clock the sun may break out a little bit but that never did happen yesterday day 32 this is how we started out first hour in seen uh, one other hiker or two other hikers on the trail uh, saw some there at the the green valley ranger station where we stayed they were still hunkered down in their tents they hadn't even started to move so getting a little extra rest before having a break camp all right morning day 32 leaving the fire station here Getting ready to go pick meat T-bone. There's a hiker behind us coming in at mile marker 280, I'm sorry, 485. And uh, we'll check in with you later. We're gonna drive over to Hughes Road. This is San Francisco Peak. 
Doe Pass. Made it up, and now we're over. I love that. I'll just say that. Fran, it's like Mosquito, but Francisco. Fran, San Francisco. All right, day 32, we're about eight miles in on the trail today and we're coming up to this huge lake road, paved road. And then we got some more elevation. Let's see how that goes. There's the elevation right there. So I will keep you up to date on what that's gonna look like the rest of the day. This is Lake Hughes Road. The T-Bone's already there. Beat me here. I was able to check out that other road. I don't, it's gonna be a no-go. break and nap headed back on for 13 miles for Pepsi. Oh, I stole a bag of chinos. Well after a lunch break across that Hughes Lake Road and now, I'm going back up in elevation. I'm gonna to try to make another 10 or 11 miles to a forest service road. The road's closed, but with about a mile and a half off trail route, I can get down to a parking area where I can probably meet Boo. We'll see what the elevation looks like. Otherwise, I can just find a spot up on top. But the, uh, it's warmed up some. Yeah, the clouds have raised up some. But the wind, wow. That wind coming off the west side. Got a bite to it. Well, up here on the elevation, you can see, uh, I think it's Elizabeth Lake down there. You can see the, the open flatness of the desert over there. 
and you can see some pine trees up there at the top of the elevation. So pretty uh pretty unique view from right here. It's mid-afternoon, about three o'clock, and we just came across about 791 mall marker and uh lots of elevation today a couple friendly snakes this afternoon as the temperatures came up a little bit and uh, i just came through a real bad burn area not much to look at so i didn't want to waste your time showing you that uh kind of sad really but now we're in a really lush green side of the hill as we're making our way up to 496 and uh that'll be my off point today so yeah it's been an interesting day with the uh, different terrain and so forth and so on but look at this view all of a sudden pop so we'll keep pressing forward probably got another hour hour and a half or so finish up today and then tomorrow uh pretty early in the day we ought to bust the 500 mile mark so i'll keep you posted on down the trail well i'm walking in to meet t-bone we're on forest road 7 in 23 section of three or four or four service roads and this is seven or two three and this is the road I'm going to take off trail uh, to hook back up with Boo and then uh, I'll come back up this road in the morning and that marker was right over there and the trails right there I'll get right back on the trail so been a full day uh be glad to get out of this wind been walking up this forest road it's a shame they didn't have it open yet because it's in really good shape i could have definitely driven up here hopefully they're getting ready to open it soon for future people definitely an uphill trek for Tony in the morning. This evening it'll be nice because they'll be going down here to get to Pine Canyon Road. A lot of burn. Sad. Wow, you can see way over there in the distance. Woo! Wind is awful. Rounded a corner. Clouds are coming in. That's all I can do to walk forward. At least it'll be going against us when we walk when we come back. Finally found my hiker. Oh that wind! Yeah. I got since uh, I left the highway. Dang. Getting up on top, it was really bad. A boo sighting. Boo! Surprise! Yeah. Well, you're downhill, but I think you're probably about a mile point eight or so to the van. Here? Yeah. Mile point eight. I'll I'll check for sure, but yeah. Oh, 